boys and girls, it's Miss Carol, and it's story time again. And this week I'm going to be reading from the Story for Children, the Storybook Bible. Some of you may even have this at home. I this is one of my favorite books to to read out of. This is an awesome, an awesome book of Bible stories. And this week's Bible story is called Straight from the Mountaintop, and it's from Exodus 20 in our Bible. So if you if you're ready, let's begin. The great mountain rumbled and boomed like an earthquake. The smoky skies clapped with a thousand thunderbolts. Help! The people cried out as they ran for cover. Oh, look at, can you see? Oh, look at, there's those, there's the lightning and it was thundering and they were frightened. Let's see what happens next. Settle down, settle down, shouted Moses. The people gathered below the mountain, ready to listen to their leader. Moses stood high above all the people so they could hear his voice. I've been on the mountain with God for 40 days and 40 nights. He gave me special rules for us to live as his holy people. Moses held up two stone tablets and read the rules to the people. See, here he is. He, there's Moses. See, he's holding that tablet, and there's all the people. They were waiting for Moses to come down from the mountain. Mm. These are what was on the tablets. God is number one. There is no other God except our God. Praise God every day and only worship him. There is nothing else worth worshiping. Always use respectful words when you speak about God. Have one special day of the week to rest and praise God. Boys and girls, do we know what day that is? Yes, you're right. It's Sunday. That's the day that the Lord has set aside to rest, and to, it's a special day for us to praise God. Okay, honor your father and mother, obey them, answer when they call, be kind to them and always show love toward them. Be kind to everyone. It is wrong to hurt another person because everyone is special to God. Husbands and wives must be loyal to each other, showing love and kindness always. Do not steal. Respect the belongings of others. And always tell the truth. Sometimes it's hard, but it's always the right thing to do. Be happy with what you have. Do not wish for things that belong to other people. Everything you have is a blessing from God. Isn't that the truth, boys and girls? Everything that we have from God is a blessing. So God's message here is, From this day forward, let my grace guide your words and your actions. You are my people, my chosen ones. I have set you apart from all the nations of the world. Be a shining example wherever you go. See, here's the tablets. See it? Yeah, the Ten Commandments. Those are God's rules. And you know what? We have to follow those rules, just like our mom and your mom and dad might have rules for you, and you have to follow those rules. Sometimes we, we, we don't want to, but we must because rules are very, very important. Well, boys and girls, I hope you're having a wonderful week. And I look forward to our next story. And you know what I always say to you? Yes, that God loves you very much. And that until the next time I read another story, blessings to you all. Bye.